Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at the cost of college. So we will just be scraping the surface of this, just be getting you to think about it a little bit. Um, this is just part of what goes into it. It's a lot more than this, but we're going to estimate it and we're going to talk about um, periodic savings and payment plans. So college expenses are things you have to pay for. These are things like tuition and fee. College isn't free like your school is now. You have to pay for classes and attending the college. Books and supplies are not free either. You have to pay for things like textbooks and any other materials you need. If you are living on your own away from home, you're going to have to pay for that. That's called room and board. And then there's other expenses like travel, eating out, your entertainment, things like that. And then ways to pay for college. Um, people give you money for college. So scholarships is a big one. This is money for college. It's usually awarded based on your application. Maybe you're good at a sport or you've had good grades. You could get scholarships for that. And then grants is money that is given for college and it's usually based on financial need. Maybe someone in your family has been saving or maybe you are saving for college. You can use your savings. And then there's always loans but this is money that is paid back with interest. So it's best not to use these if you don't have to because you're gonna to have to pay it back with the interest. Okay, um, usually it is paid, um, usually people will save monthly or they will pay monthly um, if you owed money. So. It's going to talk about how much should you save per month. What you're going to do is you're going to take the total that you need and divide it by the number of months that you're going to save it over. Okay, so let's look at this first one. It says Jay is planning on attending a four-year university. The cost of the university is $13,000 per year. Jay's parents will pay for 80% of the cost each year and he will pay for the rest. Jay wants to save enough to be able to pay for his contribution for his first year of college. If he has one year to save, how much money should he save each month? So his, that's supposed to say his parents will pay 80% and then he has to pay for the rest. So one year equals $13,000. His parents will pay for 80%. So I'm going to multiply that by 0.8 for 80%. So let's figure out how much his parents are going to pay. 13,000 times 0.8 is $10,400. So his parents will pay for most of that. It says that he wants to be able to pay for his first year of college. So let's figure out how much he would pay. This is his parents. To figure out what he would pay, we would do 13,000 minus the 10,400. And he will have to pay 2,600. That is what Jay will have to pay. And it says, if he has one year to save, how much should he save for each month? So that is 12 months. So he's going to take the 2600 and save it over 12 months. So let's figure out how much he should pay or save each month. He should save... That was 216.67. So Jay should save $216.67 each month. So we figured out how much it was going to cost for his first year, $13,000, and we figured out how much his parents were going to pay, and then we subtracted it to figure out how much Jay had to pay. And then it says he wants to save each month, so we divided by 12, and that told us what he should be saving each month. 
Okay, let's look at the next one. Mark is a freshman in high school and wants to save money each month for the next four years so that he has enough to pay for his first year of college. He is planning on attending community college, which will be about $5,000 per year. His parents will contribute $3,200 per year. How much should Mark save each month to be able to pay for his first year of college in full? So we are just looking at his first year of college, but it says that he will save over four months. It says he's going to save over the next four years. So let's figure out how much he will have to pay for one year. So one year is $5,000. His parents are going to pay $3,200. So we'll subtract that out. So he's going to have to pay $1,800. That is what Mark will have to pay. And then remember, he's wanting to save each month for the next four years. So that is 48 months. So what I'm going to do is divide the 1800 by 48 to see how much he should save each month. And he should save... $37.50 per month. Okay, let's look at the next one. The total cost of attending a private university is $34,000 per year. Amanda's aunt will cover half her expenses per year. Amanda received a $10,000 academic scholarship, and that is per year as well. If Amanda has two years to save, how much should she save each month so that she is able to pay for her first year of college in full? So one year is going to cost $34,000. And then it says her aunt will cover half her expenses. So if we divide it by two, that will tell us how much she has left because her aunt's going to cover half of it. So 34,000 divided by two is 1,700. Okay, so that's how much she has left, but then she also has the scholarship. So we can subtract out the 10,000 and that is left with 7,000. So this was the scholarship. And now we know what Amanda has to pay. Amanda will have to pay $7,000 for a year. Now she wants to save for her first year over two years. So two years, and we're saving per month, equals 24 months. So what I will do is take the 7,000 and divide by 24. And 7,000 divided by 24 is $291.67 per month. All right, last one. Ben is attending a two-year trade school to become a certified electrician. The cost per year is $12,500. Ben's parents will contribute $7,500 per year, and he received a grant that will pay $2,250 per year. If Ben wants to save him enough money to be able to pay the cost of his school in full, how much money should he save each month for the next year? So he's not just going to save for the first year this time. He wants to save for the two years. So let's figure out the cost of one year, and then we will multiply it by two. So the cost per year is 12,500. His parents are going to pay 7,500. So 12,500 minus 7,500 is 5,000. And then he also got a grant that will pay $2,250 a year. So 5,000 minus 2,250 
is $2,750. That's much, how much who will have to pay for one year. Remember, we he wants to pay for the whole thing. So we need to multiply this by two because he's going to attend for two years. So 2,750 times two is 5,500. This is Ben's cost. That's what he wants to save and he's going to save each month for the next year. So that is 12 months. So we will take the 5,500 and divide it by 12. And 5,500 divided by 12 is about $458.33 per month.